Chris Gibbons is here representing Smartbox, and he's got products for people who can't talk. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, so we have designed a product called Grid3, and Grid3 is software, and it lives on what we call grid pads. Grid pads are the devices that we create that support that software. There's an iOS uh, version for iPads. And, uh, and then there's also several Windows versions that you can see behind me here. And what we've done is we've tried to be as comprehensive as possible in how the software enables that individual to participate in the world. So not only are they able to use uh, Grid for communication, but it also allows them to access their telephone, any smartphone, to text, to tweet, to talk to somebody. It allows them to um, access the rest of the functions on their computer, uh, as well as uh, operate things like lights and doors and all the environmental controls that they would uh, want to be uh, able to access. So we did cheat and talked a little bit ahead of time. So you've got uh, software implementations, but also you've added hardware, say, to an iPad. It's in an enclosure. It's got some other stuff. Maybe you could show sure, us that. And absolutely. Talk so to this that. one, this one right here, is the starkest version because that's what I have right here at the booth. Um, but this is this happens to be an iPad Pro. And the reason I have it here at the booth is because it's big. People can see it. But you can imagine... It's a 12.9. That's right. If it was on a mini, it would be much more petite, more compact. So a person who's zipping around in the world that just wants something light and portable that they can communicate with, they could do that with a mini, a standard iPad. Needs to be running 11 or higher. Needs to be Good. Our too. audience is always up to date. That's it, absolutely. It's a push the update button, please. Uh, and then also needs to be something more than, an, uh, than a 2. Okay. So, yeah. so what we see on screen here, in this case, it's showing some little drawings, who, what, why, where, when, and uh, it's, it's got a grid of uh, different options. So how would someone use this? All right, so what this is representing is core language. And core language, with the, with the most uh, frequently occurring couple hundred words, we say about 80% of everything we talk about. It doesn't feel that way, but it's true. And We're all saying the same thing over and over, over again. Over and over again. We just changed the order. So what we've done is we've scoured the research and found what would be the best placement for those words, both by function and semantics. So all these words in this area here, and you'll notice if I say, I, I am happy. Okay, we'll, we'll keep it... Uh, on that level or maybe oh you know, it's good me but if you'll notice if I I don't say I be right so I press I and the program says oh you must be saying I am so it's giving me that I am and you can see where I've got now I As we work across the grid it's changing the words to something that would be logical to be next right that's correct now if you were to hazard a guess and you looked over at these categories and you were thinking where would I talk about happiness, feelings might be a good place to start. And I touch feelings and notice that one of the words on there is happy. Okay. Now you were telling us beforehand about um, the technology works with uh, switches, so those with the motor impairments? That's correct. So one of the things that we do is, uh, is work with anything from touch and adapted touch through switches, one, two, three, four, up to eight different switches. Uh, you could use a head mouse, you can use eye control. Now eye control does not work on an iPad, but on any of our Windows-based machines, you can use eye control. So every access method out there is something that our software works with. Okay, and then um, you were talking also about geolocation and what That's you do, right. what your software does with that? That's right, and I'll use an example on, on one of our complete units. Uh, right here, other than my own personal iPad, because that's, that I just brought that I had a feeling that was big. yours. <laughs> yeah, you could tell. It's the kids. They leave stains on it, don't they? Well, in the back of all of our machines, um, we have embedded infrared output, Z-Wave or radio wave output, as well as um, wireless switch control, as well as geolocation. And what that does is that tells us where that device is on the planet, because we use different language depending on where we are. And um, we mentioned earlier something about a cafe. Well, if you're in a cafe and the person says, um, you know, they're thirsty, uh, and they, they type the word milk, or they hit the icon of milk, the machine will predict, I'd like a latte. Whereas if they, if they push the word milk, or type milk, or hit the symbol for milk while they're in their, their uh, kitchen, it might predict the phrase, I'm thirsty, can I have a glass of milk? 
Oh, okay. So that's part of the context aware. Exactly. And so, so it knows that I'm in Starbucks or Coffee Bean and it knows when I'm at home. That's correct. Yeah. And if you're at your favorite soccer game and you're cheering on your favorite team, it's going to know that. <laughs> It's going to bring me an orange slice from the soccer mom, right? Oh, that's right. Either that or a pint of beer. You know, one of the two. So, yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. This is, this is very interesting. So, when someone buys this, do they buy the iPad or the, or the Windows machine and the enclosure together? You can. So, there's a lot of different ways to do it. We just sell the software. So, if someone has an iPad already mm -hmm. and they think, wow, you know, I want to try this, there's a couple ways to do it. Um, they can go to iTunes and... Uh, for 350 bucks, just buy the software. The okay. whole software. the App Store, probably. App, excuse me. Yeah, they the changed it on us. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, and then, uh, or uh, we also do a $10 a month subscription. Oh, okay. So, so you could try it out for 10 bucks. Yeah, and the first month is free. So even better. For 30 days, you could just try it and say, "Wow, this either works or it failed miserably," and then you can just leave it and be done. You know. I lose my uh, I lose my voice about once a year. It's just coming back now, but I think uh, Steve would be delighted if I could communicate with my iPad, right? <laughs> delighted, or I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure he would be delighted if you were absolutely, able to continue absolutely. To communicate. We want that for everyone. So uh, the other way to do this is to buy the entire device from you, correct? That is correct. And the reason that we package them the way that we do is because insurance and other funding agencies will purchase purchase this equipment for people. And for a lot of people, especially those who need it to be behind Gorilla Glass, they need it to be all in one unit, they need it to be warrantied, you know, in the way that we would expect, um, then that's very important. Mounted to a wheelchair, for instance. And so that can be done also. All right. This is very cool. So how would people find out more about Smartbox? Go to thinksmartbox.com and check out our website. All right. Very cool. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.